Well, I'm actually wrapping up a work week as perhaps you are beginning your work week engaging communication theory. I've just graded your assignments from last week this afternoon. There is the smell of homemade pizza on the air, so I want to wrap up this prefatory video quickly and get to supper. But I first of all want to thank you for your engagement with the work of this class. If your experience was like that of other students I was hearing from, it was not an easy week. You had professors with deadlines all over the place, you had new platforms to get used to, you had more discussion posts than you could wave M. Griffin at, and it was a, a week that probably asked a lot of you. And it might have also asked a great deal of you in terms of your job and in terms of just living with your family or living with your roommates in a more sort of intense fashion than you're accustomed to. So that makes me all the more grateful that as I looked through your work and evaluated it, I found that you had engaged it so thoughtfully that you were uh, not just, you know, sort of uh, showing up, but you were putting in sometimes uh, a, a great deal of work and showing goodwill in the course of doing so. So thanks for that. As we look forward to this week, I wanted to mention that we're engaging theorists that I um, affectionately dub H and Dub, Harding and Wood, and we'll be doing so with the help of a couple of TRIN students, actually, Bethany Dadisman and Megan Block, who were kind enough to interview with me. And uh, they're current TRIN students. Some of you know them quite well, perhaps, through theater and through other venues on the campus. But they were particularly fond of Harding and Wood, and I brought in their explication and their application in hopes that it will help you to understand Harding and Wood. But I'm also introducing you to a friend of mine and a research subject, Emily Lonegro of Lime Red Studio. Some of you have met Emily before, uh, at 1871 perhaps. And uh, Emily is a smart and successful social entrepreneur. She runs, as I said, Lime Red Studio, which is a brand design company in Ravenswood, a neighborhood in North Chicago. And uh, she and I have many times engaged in conversation. I uh, value her standpoint very much. She and I do not share the same standpoint in many respects, but I find that her discussion of race and gender, well, it's enormously apropos for our conversations in this class. And I'm hoping that you benefit from her, not only in better understanding Harding and Wood, but also in moving forward your theoretical claim. I wanted to mention in conclusion to this prefatory video that what you and I are engaged in doing is not just something we got to do because there's a mandate for us to shelter in close or because President Dykstra has shut down the campus or what have you. Let's look at what we're doing as a way to love and serve our neighbors. We are staying apart in order to slow down a viral spread, a viral outbreak. And the degree to which that work will be successful is yet to be seen, but it is a work that we're doing for the common good. So as we engage in this perhaps less than desirable mode online, let's remember that this can actually be um, an implicit way for us to serve God and neighbor. Thanks for engaging the work of this class and let's get to it.